Okay, class, we are going to do 4.1, 4.2 graphing quadratics on the calculator. So first up, um, with our lecture notes, we're going to plug in our equation into the calculator. One tip is whenever you have fractions, to make sure you use parentheses. And when you have a negative number, make sure you use the negative and not the subtraction. So we're going to type this in. Um, and then for part A of this question, it says write down the window that clearly shows um, the minimum, maximum, and all x-intercepts. So when we start graphs, we're always going to start off with the standard viewing window, which is minus 10, 10, 1, minus 10, 10, 1. Um, and I have that. Don't worry about everything else. Those aren't important. Um, if you want to, you can always do zoom 6. And if you do zoom and then press option 6, it will zoom to the standard viewing window, which is from minus 10 to 10 in both directions in steps of one. So you can see our graph being drawn out there. So once we have our graph, um, we can write down the window used and we would write it down as minus 10, 10, 1, minus 10, 10, 1. And I can clearly see my x-intercepts, the max or the min, and your y-intercepts. So for part B, it says find the max or minimum using our calculator. In this case, we have a maximum. So to find the maximum, we're going to go to the Calculate menu. So we're going to press Second and then Trace to get us to the Calculate menu. Since we want to find a maximum, we're going to choose Option 4. Of course, if this was an uh, upward-facing parabola, we'd be looking for a minimum, and we'd choose Option 3. So again, we're going to choose Option 4. So I'm just going to press 4. And it says find the maximum, so left bound. So it's looking for the maximum. So what it means is just go somewhere to the left of your maximum and use your left and right arrow keys to just get somewhere on the left hand side of your maximum and press enter. And then we go to the right hand side of our maximum, so arrow right, so that we're on the other side of the maximum somewhere. It doesn't really matter, just somewhere to the right of it and press enter again. And then it says guess. Yes, I want you to guess calculator and tell me what the maximum is. And it says the maximum is 2.29,8.65. And we're going to write that down as a coordinate pair for the maximum. Okay, for part C it says find the x-intercept. So to find the x-intercepts, we're going to go back to the calculate menu. So we're going to press second and trace. In the calculate menu, when we want to find x-intercepts, they're called zeros. So zeros and x-intercepts are, are the same thing. So we're going to choose option 2 for zeros. And it says left bound. So the calculator needs to know, do you want to find this one or this one? Well, we're going to find both. So let's start off by finding this one. So first, we have to go to the left of it. So I'm going to arrow left so that I'm on the left-hand side. Um, so here, this is to the left of it. And I'm going to press Enter. And then it says right bound. So arrow right so that you're on the right-hand side. So I'm on the right-hand side of it and press Enter guess yes calculator please guess and tell me what it is and the zero is negative um, 0 0.033 so that would be one x-intercept <coughs> so now we have to find the other x-intercept so we would go back to second trace and we're going to find the other zero which is option two and I have to go all the way here to go to the left hand side of that one so you have to go near it um, so just as long as I'm on this half of the parabola and I'm on the left hand side of it, I can press enter. Then it says go to the right bound, so go to the right hand side of it. So now we're to the right of it and you can press enter. Um, so now I see the x-intercept, I have the left bound and the right bound with these dashed lines. And if you have an older version of the calculator that's not the color version, you won't have those lines. You'll just have these little arrows. Um, and then it says guess, you just press enter again. And the second zero, or the second x-intercept, is about 4.6. And this is scientific notation. That's approximately zero. So that would be your second x-intercepts. Then part D, it says find the y-intercepts using your calculator. Well, I know the y-intercept is about there. Um, to find it, I go back to the trace menu to go to calculate. So second trace and calc value. And I'm going to choose option one. And you can, for value, it says plug in an x value. Well, the y-intercept has an x-coordinate of 0. So I'm going to plug in x equals 0. All y-intercepts has an x-coordinate of 0. So I'm going to plug in x equals 0, and it tells me the y is 2.25. So now I know my y-intercept is 0, 0, 0,25. Okay, then it says plot all points found and sketch the parabola. So you have your vertex 
that we found, the maximum, we found the two x-intercepts and we found that y-intercept, which we can also reflect on the other side so that we have our five points. And we can clearly mark all values, including our axis of symmetry. So that's how you would graph using the calculator.